All right, guys, welcome to my channel. This is Christopher Loves Life. We're going to be testing seven, seven different waters that you may be drinking and not know the acidity on, and we may be surprised. What do you think is going to happen? I think it's going to be quite a thing to find out, honestly. I, I put them in order to what I think their acidity level is going to be. So, so this this one actually says, Core says 7.4, Evian says 7.2. Well, they have acidity levels on it. See, I don't read my water bottles. I don't know what's healthy for me. But we're going to find out today what you should or should not be drinking. Let's see. All right, so we're going to start with Hutch's today. Crack this open, give it a pour. How long do you let it dry for? See results in 15 seconds. So the way this works is going to be matching up, I want to say top and bottom. So this has about a 5 rating. 5.5, five, five, I would say. That's not good. It's getting greener on the bottom. Look at how green that outline is. Now it's a 6. I'm going to say a 5.7. That's what I'll say. That was surprising. Not too surprising. Definitely more acidic than I thought Hutch's would be. Yeah. I've heard horrible things about this, that it's got salt in it. The Coca-Cola apparently owns it, that the people in the background are just trying to make you more thirsty. Have you ever heard that? I've heard it so many times. They just don't buy it at theme parks because $7 a bottle and then you got to drink three of them and you still feel thirsty. Right. It's a real thing. Yeah, every time I drink Dasani, it gives me like bad acid reflux. That is a 4.5, which is very acidic. I'm never buying that again. Here was my favorite when I was a kid. My parents bought nothing but Aquafina. I remember their commercials. Aquafina. Thirst. That is a 5.0, which is very acidic. Aquafina. Rated a 5-0. Oh, where's this glare coming from? The last three. Let's see how smart you are, smart water. Think anybody's gonna test your BS on the back end? Are you sure? I doubt, I'm, this is the one I really think is gonna be bad for me. Everything about it says freaking backwards advertising. Does anyone else get that? I'm sure there's people out here that understand when it says healthy food or healthy choice food. Horrible for you. 5-5 five, five and 5-7. Five, God. Still acidic. Wow. Hutch's was healthier than everyone so far. How? You would Hutch's is a backwoods, back collar liquor store. Great employees. Let's just say management's kind of shit. But it absolutely is the place you don't want to stop on the highway. Loves is a little more safe. Instantly. Instantly. What is that? It says it's a uh, Evian. Evian, my new favorite water. Instantly balanced. That one's gonna go all the way down to 6.75, I guarantee it. I mean, it says it's supposed to be 7.2, so I wonder if we just need to wait a little bit. That is not bad at all. It's getting darker. Yeah. See that? Just like right away to maybe... I think it's seven, yeah. Yeah, seven, maybe. I think they might be spot on, anywhere between seven to, if it if it waits a little bit longer to 7.2. And then last but not least, Corsa is- Not last, not last, we have TAP. Uh, TAP is the Pierre de Resistance that we assume has lead, mercury, cancer causing carcinogens. Nobody wants to drink TAP. We're oh, yeah. assuming it's in toilet water. Woodward drinking water? Yeah, Woodward's drinking water. The, the breeding of the, the people who can't you know, buy the water. The lower tiers of life, you know? Yeah, it's unfortunate, but the water is making it do it. There's people who say that there's sodium chloride and a bunch of stuff to make you docile in your tap water. We're gonna see just how acidic those chemicals are. What did they say it was? 7.4? 7.4 on the pH scale. What do you say, like 5.5 to 5.5? Yeah, 5.5. Five, five. This is just regular tap water, not even toilet water. And that changed immediately. Like, Look at that. What is it even reading? Like 725. Oh, really? Honestly, better than everything. Half but, these waters. Yeah. The tap water has a better pH. But what else does it have in it? That's a real question. Do they make it more balanced because of all the chemicals that, you know, chemtrails, government? I'm just saying, there's all kinds of shit that could be going in there. You never know. These guys are held to a financial responsibility because. They're billion dollar companies, you know, some of them. Uh, and if they do something wrong, your Uncle Sam will cut their knees off and go like, hobble home. Right, where's your where's your cups? I kind of want to test the essential that I have. So we have an eighth contender. Surprise, everyone. Apparently he's got a essential ionized hydration with a 9.5 pH or higher. Do you think 
comment right now. Do you think this is going to have 9.5 pH or higher? I don't think so. We're trying to see if it'll actually turn blue because it says that it's supposed to be 9.5 or higher and mm -hmm. I call bullshit. I'm still calling bullshit because right now it's like a 7.0. Not even. It's probably a six seven five. I mean, still the one good thing about like all these alkaline waters is that this is going to be expensive. This was like twenty seven dollars in water, and the biggest expense was the Evian and the Dasani. I'm just now I have to move my entire freaking family onto the Evian. Essential nine point five. My ass. This being the tap water for some reason is one of the best pH balanced that we have so far, just tap water. Then you have your Hutch's brand. Not so bad, it was the best. Five minutes ago it was the best. Then you've got Dasani. Dasani, horrible. Aquafina, horrible. Glacier water, horrible. Evian, the absolute best that we've seen so far. Core, we assumed was gonna be the best. We were so wrong. I am shocked. Did you put your guess in the comments? If you didn't and you were surprised, well, you should have followed the rules of the game. Let me know. Check out a video here. We'll be back to you with a new video and more content. Like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate you all. We'll see you later.